Barnabas Health. Life is better healthy. What's good for us to eat at lunchtime? Eating lunch is also a very important part of your day. Yeah, I know, it's time to catch up with your friends and socialize and take a break from class. But lunch is also a time to give yourself nutrition in the middle of the day to keep your brain and body active. What did you eat for lunch today? Maybe you brought your own lunch. Maybe you had school lunch. Fortunately, many school districts are doing a better job at offering healthy lunch options these days. If you eat your lunch at school and you have a choice, choose whole foods over processed foods. Don't skip eating at lunchtime, no matter how good the conversations with your friends are. Now I'm going to bring in Barbara, who will explain why it's important to get that midday nutrition. You know, I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about lunch. I've kind of heard that basically every three to five hours or so, your body needs, needs a recharge, a refuel. Absolutely, it's very vital to have that boost of energy again, because a lot of times kids are not even eating breakfast in the sure. morning. So that lunchtime period at school is very important for them to get their lunch in. You wanna make sure that you're getting good nutrition, enough energy to keep you going for the day. So basically what it sounds like is that every meal is vital to the rest of the day. Absolutely. You can't skip breakfast, you definitely can't skip lunch, and of course you can't skip dinner. You want to make sure that you're having every single meal during the day. So Barbara, I want to talk to you about healthy lunch options. Okay. Like, let's get into that. What, what, what can the kids just go in, grab, and get out? Something that's really easy for kids to get in really healthy at the same time. Maybe they can opt for, you know, a lean turkey sandwich, um, some Greek non-fat yogurt, uh, even some string cheese. That's something that's really simple for them to take and be on the go with. Yeah, lunch you can just time. grab it. And grab it and go. Grab get and go. Out. <laughs> grab and go. I love it. Let's talk lunch. Lunch is that meal that's going to help you get through the rest of the day. It's got to be packed with nutrients. It's got to have your fats, your carbohydrates, and of course your proteins. And we definitely covered all the bases right here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool teriyaki chicken roll up. So you can see right here in the shallow baking dish, we have some raw chicken breast. And basically what that's doing is marinating in a really healthy teriyaki sauce. What it consists of is some low sodium soy sauce, some pineapple juice, a little bit of olive oil, and a touch of rice wine vinegar. It really just brings this dish together wonderfully. Okay, what we're gonna do is preheat our oven to 350 degrees. We're just gonna take that raw chicken breast, set it on a sheet tray, and bake it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or so. And when you think it's done, you just take the tip of a knife, cut into it, cheat a little bit, and make sure it's fully cooked. Now, in the meantime, I'm gonna take this tortilla, and I'm just gonna warm it up right on our skillet. This is, of course, preheated. Now, while that's warming, we are going to cut our chicken. Really moist, and of course that teriyaki marinade really gave it some awesome flavor. So we have our chicken breast sliced. And now for our carrots. All I did was peel a carrot, slice it up. You could probably buy these carrots pre-cut already to save yourself some prep time. Same thing with the cucumber. Just really thin, nice and easy slices. We are gonna start to build our roll up. So we're gonna put a few slices of chicken. We're gonna put some of our fresh cucumber on there. This teriyaki has such a wonderful smell to it. It's light, it's clean, no added sugar. So it makes sense for our body, makes sense for the chicken. It gives it that great flavor. I love this dish. And now for the best part, the avocado. The avocado, because it's so creamy, just really brings this dish together. We're gonna to turn the avocado over just like that and just make little half moons. And this avocado is so healthy for us. It offers these great fats, great flavor, good for our bodies, good for our skin. We're just gonna peel the avocado and let's roll it up. Really gently, nice and tight. Perfect. So we're gonna cut off the end here. There's no meat in there, we don't really need that. And now, this is awesome. It's easy to share, you can feed a few people. You just roll up three or four of these, set them out, and you have yourself a really healthy, awesome lunch coming your way. So we have our sushi slices over here. Oh man, this looks great. A wholesome lunch of a chicken teriyaki roll up, of course with avocado, cucumber, and carrot. And then on the side, if you like, I just put some fresh fruit here. You could do strawberries, melon, whatever's in season. Just a nice little accompaniment to our teriyaki roll up. Enjoy. Barnabas Health. Life is better healthy.